Hi, I'm John Horsey. I'm England's highest capped international fly angler. I'm a professional fly fishing guide and I'm also part of the Hardy Pro team. And this is Two Minute Masterclass. The washing line is a really effective way of targeting fish that are feeding on or near the surface. It's a combination of buoyant flies and nymphs. And in this video, I'm going to show you a few top tricks to help you improve your catch rate. Fishing the washing line has become really popular over the last few years. The original method was to fish three or four flies on fluorocarbon with a buoyant fly such as a booby on the point, another one on the top dropper and then nymphs, either one or two, sandwiched between those two buoyant flies. When fishing over weed beds or shallow water, this means that you can fish right above the water. With straight nymphs, your flies would always be in the weed but with the washing line, you can fish successfully over the top of the weed bed. I normally use fluorocarbon for all my washing line fishing. Nowadays, we tend to use just a single booby or a fab on the point, and then two or three nymphs behind it. The key to fishing the washing line is to plop that booby. As Soon as it hits the water, you give the fly line one, two or three good strong pulls and make that booby plop on the surface. Rather than scaring the fish, which is what you'd think it would do, it tends to attract them. And once you've plopped that booby a few times, you then do a normal retrieve. Fish either come to the booby that's been plopped or ignore it and look at the nymphs instead. So your retrieve can be steady figure of eight, fast figure of eight, long pulls, or perhaps even the roly poly. At the end of every retrieve, it's really crucial to hang the flies. Never ever be in a hurry to take the flies out of the water. So at the beginning of the retrieve, you plop the booby to set the booby and the other flies. You retrieve it all the way back and then you just bring your flies out one by one, steadily and carefully watching for any movement behind the flies. Fish will often take the flies just as you're about to lift them off the water, so it's absolutely essential to take your time at the end of every retrieve. 